Hi, my name's Kelty, and I recently saw this news article where this man ran an entire marathon on his balcony. Yeah, just going back and forth. He ended up raising $22,000 to help with COVID relief funds, so I was very impressed. That got my mind racing. I'm pretty into fitness, but would I even be capable of that? Was he just driven by the betterment of mankind? Hmm, can you, can you do that? And then I also heard about this 99-year-old war veteran who's walked back and forth in his garden to raise money for healthcare workers in the UK. He's raised millions of dollars, and if that's not inspiring, you're a cold-hearted prune. Now it's my turn to step up to the plate. So I'm sitting here, I'm like doing the math, I'm like 60 times that. I don't know. I don't know what they're boot. I'm a rather curious individual. I wonder, I was like, is this possible? Can I do this? Would I enjoy this? I don't know. I, now that I'm here, I think this is an awful idea. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to run 20 miles within my 550 square foot apartment. A little apartment tour. I've got this kitchen. I've got a living room that the couch takes up half of it. A little space here. Tiny bathroom. We got this little den, which could be a game changer, and this little strip around my bed that, um, yeah, let's ignore that. Here's the rules. Miles, not kilometers. We do kilometers here in Canada, but y'all gonna be mad. America's bigger than us. It is now 9.07, and I'm gonna give myself till midnight to do this. So this video is also kind of inspired by those walkathons, runathons we used to do when we were in elementary and junior high and high school. I wanted to give back in any way I possibly could, and I wanted to make sure I could directly help someone. So all the AdSense for this video will be going towards food banks. I wanted to make sure I can directly help someone as much as possible. I'm gonna use all the money from this AdSense to go to the grocery store and buy food for the food bank because unfortunately food banks right now are really in demand of food. More people are going to food banks and less people are donating. So it's like worst of both worlds. You just help feed some families. Oh, this seems like such a good idea until now I'm here. I think I'm gonna get really nauseous. Just gonna be me like, oh, this is already a hazard. Oh Lord. Oh my god. Oh, and it's so sunny, nice. But that was the thing. I also wanted this to encourage social distancing. That's why I'm doing it inside and not outside. Social distancing people, flatten the curve. But to make it feel like spring, I wore this really springy outfit from Gymshark. And this actually launched yesterday and the video came out. So this you can get, I'll put the link down below. And I wanna thank Gymshark for sponsoring this video and making this all possible. Like this is bringing sunshine into my apartment as I do all this. <laughs> and it's so comfortable because I'm not gonna wear uncomfortable fitness clothing. You're meant to be comfortable in your apartment. So this is like the perfect combo. I feel comfy, feel secure. I'm procrastinating, running in a circle. Save your energy. I am also not a runner at all. Friends, not occasionally, but I'm like going on a 5K uh, isn't in my vocabulary. Gentlemen, start, start your, your engines. engines. I'm gonna attempt to make this scene exciting. Oh my God, this is, I feel full regret. <laughs> We are running. We have gone. Not even a foot. Oh no. And pivot. And pivot. And pivot. Pivot! I'm oh, just running. <laughs> Ooh, feet. Should I be doing this barefoot? And this, viewers, this is where our main character made her first critical mistake. Seems unnatural. Run with shoes. In your own apartment? Does that seem weird? You won't be finding that weird in three hours, trust me. I'm not in shoes. <laughs> Laugh now, Kelty. This will be your downfall. Forty-five minutes in, two miles down. This eighteen more to go. Stop running for a few seconds and I got the spins. Mile three. What my neighbors are going to think. Psychopath, running through your apartment. The four mile mark. I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm gonna have some breakfast, then get back to this. This repetitive cycle of abyss and never ending for the point of nothing sums up quarantine. I can't really get a good stride going. If I do an actual running stride, it's like one, two, I'm already at the wall. One, two, I'm already at the wall. So you kind of gotta go like do little feet. This is not good running form. This is gonna hurt. Kelsey, go to college, get a real job, become a lawyer. No, mom, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. It's gonna be so much more fun. I'm gonna make really deep videos that inspire a nation. No, you're just gonna do stupid things on the internet. This is accurate. We're gonna make a lot of choices. <laughs> Five kilometers. 
five and a half in. My back is killing me. Oh my god. Anyone else hide all their treats on top of your cabinet just to avoid snacking? I really hope I'm not the only one. Carb time. We are gonna make it through this together. These are kind of stale. I realized I can just show you on here. This is way easier than trying to bend my arm. 7.5 miles. <sighs> I think I, I was gonna update every mile, but honestly, I'm just like, state of abyss, abyss. Just trying to get into a meditative zone. Honestly, at this point, I might get drunk just to pass the time. Place bets down in the comments. How many miles do you think it'll take before my feet and are just hurt? I need to put on shoes and wear shoes in my apartment. That's a sin. If you're one of those crazy people that let people wear shoes in your apartment, look, you, there's dirt. You step on dogs. You don't walk through your apartment like that. No. Hygiene. Theme of 2020. Oh. The nine mile. Oh, everything's weak. Like guys, I'm delusional because I'm running in a circle. I'm so dizzy. I'm still barefoot, but my arches are really starting to hurt. This is a friendly reminder to drink water because I bet you you haven't drank any water in like at least three hours. Am I right? Staff, staff, staff. When was the last time you drank some water? I see you. <laughs> I am so bored. Three hours! We are halfway through. Will I eat five protein bars today? Probably. Will you judge me? Probably. Should you? Probably. I've seen the most efficient use of my time. That's the thing, maybe if I was doing this outside, you can get proper strides, but I can't get proper strides, so my back is already seizing up. Being honest, one of the hardest parts of this challenge, almost broken so many times, is not being able to leave my apartment. We're still allowed to go out for one walk a day, so theoretically I could go just on the longest hike and that'd be so enjoyable. Half of this is appreciation that I can still go outside because I know there's a lot of people who are just scared for their own well-being, if you're immune compromised, if you're older, if you have a loved one that's older, immune compromised, if you were in a city that's in complete lockdown that you're not allowed to go for a walk, that's another reason I wanted to do this. I don't feel refreshed. I don't feel like I'm getting a workout. In. I don't feel rejuvenated. I wish I always feel from walks, but it, it's just the power of just being outside, and especially in nature. Because right now I just feel, ugh, I just feel gross. The reality of the situation I have on my hands. Here we are, folks. Here we are. Save me. eight miles and 30,000 steps. So I had to change outfits for the sole purpose of just changing something. And to anyone who sees this and thinks they're gonna do this as a weight loss thing, 10 out of 10 do not recommend because all that's happened is to physically do this. I just keep eating and eating mindlessly. Even though I'm burning a lot of calories, I'll probably wait, eat way more. Your hunger hormones are gonna be broken for the next few days. I probably won't be able to get off the couch. Don't think like, oh, I'm gonna run 20 miles in a day. I'm gonna lose five pounds. No. Must keep going. <sighs> oh. Oh, this is so needed. I'm hoping this helps. Oh, it hurts. Ouch, because I feel half the reason I'm going is because I haven't really sat much, but I'm on a good pace, so this is doable. I hope if I can just get myself off the couch, but I need to eat. I, I can't prolong this any longer. Whew. I have zero energy to think of anything creative to eat, so I'm eating literally the exact same type of pasta I had last night. Flashback.
put it all in. Why did I even get a plate? Pasta and carbs. End of flashback. Delicious. I love pasta. Just carb loading. I think I should have put shoes on sooner. The arch of my left foot is killing. It feels like blood's pooling in it. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going, but like now I'm kind of like limping a little, so I'm, I'm walking a lot more than running right now. And my walking pace is slower. Uh, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. I think any human is supposed to constantly just go in a circle. Oh yeah, the turn is the turn is what hurts it. <sighs> Oh, my arch really hurts. Oh, wow, wow, yo, yo. We're at 15 miles, 15 with three miles. It is 6.33. There's gonna be some orthopedic surgeon on here. It cringes probably, I'm probably doing this so wrong. I'm not saying this is what to do. I'm just gonna attempt. Let's see how this goes. Oh no, oh no. That was, oh, oh, oh. That was so painful. That was such a bad idea. That was a horribly awful idea. Ha 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 Get these off, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Well, back to the drawing board there. Mile 17. I've realized my arches hurt less if I walk on my toes. So I've gotten to the point of walking on my tiptoes like a ballerina. Miles to go. Why so serious? Mile nineteen. We can do this. I hope it doesn't take me two hours, but you're gonna see this pace. This is you same bolt. Watch out! Coming for you. Everything hurts. Try it. Poor life decision. Oh, you're blurry. Even my camera is sick of this. Thousand steps. Nine oh two. Same day. No. Oh. 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 My body has become one with the bed. But um, I've got no brain capacity, so I will check in in the morning and like let you know my body, how it's feeling, results, how I look. You feel so good, but I have to wash my face. Oh. So it's Friday, I filmed that on Tuesday. What happened to my body? It is in utter shambles. I can't walk anymore, more than a block. My foot is actually injured. It is not just sore, it is injured, which is not good considering what I do. And there's no one that can come look at it because no one's working. <laughs> no going on walks, so now I'm actually quarantined. I can't leave my house because I can't walk, so that's great. I do not recommend this. The reason being, mainly, I think I injured myself was because you just can't do proper running form in such a tight-knit 
spot. How my body responded. The next day I was up a pound. The day after that I was up another pound. Now I'm back to normal. Likely when you do a stress to your body, your body holds on to water. That was a big stress. Also my hunger was all over the place the last few days. Like. I feel I have a pretty good idea. I get hungry, I eat, able to monitor that. Not the last two days, I've just been all over. I'm like, why am I snacking now? Why am I not? I don't know, do I need food? Do I need water? And it's just been weird cravings. Ugh. You are going to look like either a marshmallow or an Oompa Loompa, depending on your self-tan preferences. Uh, after this, this is not a uh, get fit quick. I'm probably going to be in worse shape in a few weeks. Huh. The only positive in, in all this is of course why I did this to raise money for food banks If you guys don't know how AdSense works those ads you see at the beginning of the video or in the middle I get a portion of that a very small portion But yes, just if you watch any of those ads or you watch this video that raised money for the food bank and so if you could share this throw this a like comment down below that just helps the video do better and I usually try never to ask those things I just believe if you enjoy my content you want to watch it and I try and make content you guys enjoy I will never force it upon anyone but this is the one time I will ask uh, just because I do want to help in any way possible I think a great way it you just watch it and we can raise some money and that'd be really cool uh, because a lot of people need food right now and thank you for tuning in like always have a great day go pet it out love you guys bye